Hi YouTube, back with another video. Um, this video is going to be um, how to change out your front speakers, specifically the ones right there on your SM95 Mustang. So, if you want to learn, stay tuned. So, the speakers we're going to be using today would be from Kicker, part number DSC680. It's a 6x8, 200 watts. Uh, shout out to Sean from AudioWorks. That's all. That's where I grab all my um, what do you call this? S music needs or stereo or car stereo needs. Shout out to Zach too for giving me this Caribbean Colada tree. Um, now this is the speaker. Oh, it's just in this box. So let's put that to the side for now. If I don't need it. Um, it comes with the hardware you need. So the wire from negative and positive, put that to the side. And it comes with butt connectors, and it comes with new bolts, and these like, I'm not exactly sure what these are, but I'll show you guys how I use them. I could be using them wrong, but yeah. So, put this off to the side. So now, the basic things you're gonna need, electric tip, wire stripper, some panel removers. I'm using this as a cutter, because there's something sharp here, so I can cut the wire. So yeah. Main thing, you want to lower your window all the way down because we've got to take the door panel off. I have an aftermarket um, like lock, this lock thing here. It obviously goes up and down, tells you um, when your car's locked. I'm gonna take the top out because it's gonna interfere. If you have a stock one, it's skinny enough, you know how to take this off. But I have the aftermarket one, take this off. I forgot the actual name of this thing. Door lock pin, maybe. I'm gonna put this to the side because I don't need it right now. Next step. The tweeter you gotta take off. This is a cover. You can probably use a flathead, get in there, unpry it, and there's a bolt in the middle. That should be a Phillips. But well, mine's a Phillips. On yours it could be different because the previous owner might have changed it. Or the previous owner of mine probably changed it. I'm not sure. But take this off first, take the bolt off, and there's a connector, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so this is what it looks like. Again, there's a Phillips on mine. I forgot I did change it and I put anesthes on it because sometimes, or well, the previous owner of mine got this stuck and I couldn't get it off. So I got a new bolt and put anesthes on the bolt so they can come off. And you just take off this connector right here. It's a push pin, it's like a little push, then you just pull and you put this to the side. Now the next step, you're gonna remove this right here. You're probably gonna wanna use, uh, to be ginger with it, you can use a flathead. But you can also use um, one of these. You're just gonna pry it from the behind right here. This behind area. And you're just gonna pull up just like that until it opens up. Now, when you get to this bulb, and it just came out. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> it takes some force to get it out. That was shocking. So we got it out pretty quick. Usually, you're supposed to grab it with two hands from here and slowly pull up because there's that little pin. Right there, you have to be ginger with it because people who have done this have broken them multiple times because they don't know how to take it off. So yeah, that's how you take that one off. Um, second thing, take off this right here. It has two Phillips, and then um, you move this uh, trim to the side. All right, so you're at this point now. There should be two uh, Phillips heads right there, so you can take both of those off. And then on the front here. Near the speaker, or not actually, someone took mine off. There should be a Christmas tree type uh, push pin that goes in there. So you're gonna have to go ahead and take that off when mine's out. So I guess I don't have to do mine, but it should be right in the front section right here. Just use like your little plastic prying tools and take that off. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. All right, now that you got these two bolts off, you got this unbolted, you got the push pin Christmas tree type connector up here. You already removed this if you have the aftermarket one. If not, I mean, it should just slide up. And you tuck the tweeter off. Um, this thing should be ready to come out. So, on these door panels, you want to push upwards because there's hooks holding them all over the place. So, I usually have a stock jack right here that supports this because this door is heavy and the door hinges are old. So. Um, I don't want it to have too much weight for such a long time, especially because you're going to be here for a bit, like banging this. So I usually put this really straight up, hit this going upwards with my like 
bottom of my palm and just all the way around and just keep hitting it up and the door panels just start lifting up and usually just, just gonna pull up and uh, out until all the hooks are out and um, put this out of the way too um, yeah but that's how you're gonna take it out just keep pushing up like that it should release itself from it that release this out of the when you're pulling it out release this out of it and that should be from that's how you're gonna take it all completely out so let me go do that all right so we got the door panel out like I said you have to give it a couple whacks on the bottom um, decently all over the place and it should release itself and you should be able to pull it out now this is a moisture barrier on my driver's side I ordered the speaker the difference in the driver's side is that there's a connector uh, connected to the door panel and that's for basically the module that I guess when you press down you press up it, it just automatically goes up and automatically goes down passenger side don't have that so you don't got to worry about that now under here here's a speaker these are four uh, Phillips head that hold them so you're gonna go ahead and take them out and there's a connector in the bag you're just gonna unconnect it and um, we're gonna go from there all right so we got it out you might have to take off this fill once you take out the Phillips you might have to wiggle a little bit because it seems like there's some type of like adhesive in the back that just kind of holds it in place but after you do that there's a connector right here you just disconnect it and use a flathead and pull up on this and push out and then you should be able to disconnect it so now we're here what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically kind of get try to get more of a try to make get more wire because uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut this and we're gonna hardwire it and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it then you guys can connect it how you guys want to connect it but for me this is the simplest way without using butt connectors or anything just electric tape so on this bad boy um, the green wire is the positive wire and then the white and black wire is the negative so I'm probably gonna give it a cut right here and I'm um, gonna move on from there so here we are I just straight up snipped it out we don't need this anymore now we're gonna go with the speakers so the speakers are right here um, again these are the thicker speakers um, I really like them uh, I heard them from a fellow member of the group um, that has his kickers on and they sound really really good so uh, yeah so here's the kicker speakers um, compared to the, the old one there it is so um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously um, show the copper on these wires or obviously show the inner filament so strip them out so that's why I have this tool because this tool makes it so much easy easier to go ahead and just grab them and just show the, the inner copper in them so like I said you're just gonna expose both of them and then we're gonna move on from there all right so we went ahead and did that so now on these uh, I'm gonna use these uh, but one disclaimer that I found out make sure you don't use this as your connecting point you're gonna take this off and show the, the copper inside it because I did this with a butt connector Oh, it's just butt connectors, and they they sound like I mean they sound like that no sound. So basically, uh, that was my first mistake on doing this. Make sure you go ahead and strip it out here, and do not use this as the lead to connect to that. Um, basically, the thicker head is positive and the smaller head is negative. So basically, the um, the gray with black stripes on it would be the negative on your wire here and the one that's fully gray would be positive so basically the fully gray one without the black stripe would connect to the green black and green and then the black stripe with gray would connect to the white and black so we're gonna go ahead and strip both of these out and um, the technique what I'm gonna do is well, I'm gonna show you guys um, all you're gonna have to use is electric tape because for me it's simpler to take off and put in for future references we're gonna go ahead and like I said um, just connect this and wrap it around and put electric tape on it and we're not gonna use the butt connectors or we're not gonna solder it or anything I think it's just a simpler way of future if I ever have to take it out it'll be simpler to just take it out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick so 
basically this is how you're gonna do it um, literally you're just gonna get the two copper and just twist them together and just kind of leave it like that and then you're gonna put electric tape over it um, for me this is the easiest way to do it um, and there's a sure connection to both of them shout out to Luis by the way uh, when he helped me with my Volkswagen radio he showed me how to just do this the easiest way to do this but basically yeah turning them together wrapping them together and putting an electric tape on them again gray and black goes with the white and black and then the green and black goes with the solid gray and then obviously the solid gray is the positive with the bigger head and then the black and gray that connected to the white and black is a smaller head of the negative so basically on the back of the kicker um let me open this it's hard to do stuff one hand i really gotta buy myself a a tripod or something it makes it easier for myself but on the back of the kicker as you can see there it is so the bigger one is right here is the positive and the smaller one is negative so obviously in the self-explanatory so I'm just gonna go ahead and put electric tape on this and we're gonna go ahead and connect them and put the bolts in and so I'm gonna show you guys how I put the bolts in I mean because of these because I don't, I don't really know how to where this is supposed to really go so I put it a certain way just because so I can use them so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be back with you guys all right guys so this is how it looks looks pretty damn neat so basically I use it as a washer I don't even sure if you're, you're supposed to use it like this but that's how I use it and honestly you probably don't even need to use it but I just used it just came because it came with the kit so I'm just like whatever so when I did that so here you go so obviously the next step would be obviously you gotta try it um, so go ahead and put your car in ACC and um, put on your favorite songs 